The following video is a recap of Johto Tour. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I will be participating in Johto Tour, catching the various Pokemon from from Gen 2, aka Gold, Silver, and Crystal versions, and their respective remakes from Gen 4, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I will be completing the special research that that's accompanied by this, as well as the collection challenges, and of course, shiny hunting. I hope to catch as many shinies during Johto Tour as I can. First off, I couldn't record everything as this was an all day thing and of course the time research also required me to do some walking and I will get to the time to research after I talk about the special research tasks and rewards which of course for Johto Tours special research, step one, send a gift to a friend with your reward of one incense, use an incense and your reward was 50 Pokeballs and catch 20 Pokemon with your reward of 3 Nab Nab Berries and of course the total rewards for this step were Hello Wings, 50 Pokeballs and 1 Lucky Egg. Step 2 had you choosing one of the three Johto starters, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile. If you're wondering which starter I went with, I went with Totodile as Totodile is my favorite Johto starter as, as I like water type Pokemon. And of course, step three, you claim this first reward, which will give you either an encounter with Chikorita, Cyndaquil or Totodile, then you had to catch 15 different species of Pokemon with your reward of either 25 Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile candies, and evolve either your Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile with your reward of one Poffin, and the total rewards were Lugia, Grasses, a Dunsparce encounter, 25 Lady Buck, candies if you chose gold version or 25 spinnerack candies if you went with silver version. Step 4 had you defeating 3 Team Go Rocket Grunts with your reward of 5 revives, purify 3 shadow Pokemon with your reward of 500 Stardust, and 
earn 3,000 Stardust with your reward of one Super Potion. And your total rewards were three Rocket Radars, a Quill Fish Encounter, 25 Mantine Candies if you went with Gold Version, or 25 Fampy Candies if you went with Silver Version. For Step 5, you had to complete three research tasks with your reward of 50 Pokeballs. Make five great throws with your reward of two Metal Coats. Catch 20 Pokemon with your reward of either 50 Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile Candies. And your total rewards were three Rocket Radars, a Shiny Gyarados Raid, which of course it could be either both male or female, and 50 Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Totodile Candies. Step 6, you had to evolve your Bayleaf, Quillava, or Croconaw, and your reward was 50 Great Balls. Power up a Pokemon 5 times with your reward of 100 Stardust, and earn a candy walking with your buddy with your reward of 2 Sunstones. And the total rewards out of this were one Egg Incubator, a Stantler Encounter, 25 Ladybug Candies if you chose Gold Version, or 25 Spinarak Candies if you chose Silver Version. Step 7, you had to send a gift with a sticker with your reward of 25 Ultra Balls, hatch 2 eggs with your reward of 1 Great yeah, upgrade, one upgrade, and complete five research tasks. Your total rewards were one lore module, a hypnotop encounter, 25 man time, or spinnerack candies if you chose gold or silver versions. Step eight, you had to earn three hearts with your, your buddy, and your reward was one star piece make five, I mean three nice throws in a row with your reward of 1000 XP and transfer 20 Pokemon with your reward of three rare candies and your rewards depending on if you went with gold or silver version were either a Ho-Oh or a Lugia t-shirt both versions you got to catch a, 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 a Celebi, depending on if you completed the original Celebi special research or the special research for the for the shiny variant, you would have a total of three Celebi in Pokemon Go and 1,000 Stardust. And the last and final step for the special research for Johto Tour, you automatically claim the following rewards. 1,000 XP, 1,500 Stardust, and 1,000 XP again, and your total rewards were 1 Lore Module, 25 Celebi Candies, and 4,500 Stardust. And of course, if you completed this, you unlock the Johto Master Work Research which of course, it's not going to be completed overnight. And as of this recording, for step one, you have to earn 100,000 XP with your reward of 10 Hyper Potions, complete 100 Field Research Tasks with your reward of 1,000 XP, and catch 100 different species of Pokemon with your reward of an APAC Shadow ho -Oh encounter and the total rewards were we are 1000 XP 20 ho -Oh candies and 1000 stardust and then step 2 would be earn a heart with your buddy 30 days in a row with your reward of 1 P Poffin sent 50 gifts to friends with your reward of 1 Lore module and open 10 gifts with your reward of one lucky egg. And your total rewards are 2,000 XP, 3 rare candies, and 2,000 stardust. And of course, we don't know what the masterwork research for steps 3 and 4 
are as of this recording. Um, now on to the Johto Battle Challenge timed research steps, which of course, step one of nine, you had to power up a Pokemon three times with your reward of one fast TM, evolve three Pokemon with your reward of a charged TM, use a charged TM with your reward of five max revives, and your total rewards for this step were 500 XP, one lucky egg, and 500 Stardust. For step two, you had to go and defeat the flying type gym trainer with your reward of one Hyper Potion and your total rewards were 1000 XP, a Glider Encounter, and one Max Revive. Step three, you had to defeat the bug type gym trainer and your reward was one hyper potion and your total rewards here were 1000 XP, a Heracross encounter, and one max revive. For step four, you had to defeat the normal type gym trainer with your reward of one hyper potion and the rewards here were 1000 XP, a Jigglypuff encounter, and one max revive. And of course, for step 5, you had to defeat the ghost type gym trainer. Like with the other gym leaders and the rest in this video I'm talking about, you have your reward of one hyper potion and your total rewards for this step besides the 1000 XP, a mischievous encounter and one max revive like all the other steps. Step 6, you had to defeat the fighting type trainer and your reward here, like the other steps, is one hyper potion and your total rewards, which of course two of them are the same for each step, 1000 XP and one match revive, but the Pokemon encounter here is a Hypnotop. Then for step 7, you had to go and defeat the gym type steel trainer with the same reward being one hyper potion and two of the three total rewards being the same 1000 XP and one max revive but the main difference here it is a steelix encounter as the Pokemon reward for this step and of course for step 8 you had to defeat the ice type trainer with your reward again being one hyper potion and two of the three total rewards being 1000 XP and one max revive and your Pokemon encounter reward being a Lapras encounter and of course the final gym leader here you had to defeat the dra dragon type gym trainer Again, rewarding you with one hyper potion and of course defeating it not only gave you that hyper potion but also 1000 XP and one max revive again but the main difference is that you also had a Dragonair encounter as your Pokemon reward and of course Afterwards, you had to defeat the, the leaders of, of your respective teams by one initiating a battle with them in Master League. The following rewards are if you battle Blanche in Master League and you defeat her and then initiate and unlock the final battle with her, you get to catch Suicune. If you battled and defeated Candelia, you get Entei. If you defeated Spark, you get Raikou. And of course, speaking of the three wild Pokemon, the Johto Beasts, Entei, Suiku, and Raikou, you also had the option of encountering them in the wild. 
Which of course, I did some research that, that it was possible to catch them, but I was not able to catch the non-shiny wild ones. But of course, all three in the wild, just like in raids, can be shiny. And of course, the shiny forms of Entei Raikou and Suicune cannot flee, meaning that you'll, you're guaranteed to catch them, regardless of whether it's in a raid or in the wild. And of course, other details of this event had recreations of the wild Pokemon encounter theme from from the Gen 2 games and their Gen 4 remakes, as well as the event habitats inspired by locations in the Johto region, from Mubark Town to Mount Silver, and of course, I did get a shiny Raikou during the making of this clip, and I leave you with this amazing track that I always use called Neural Wave by Kevin McLeod. Also forgot to say another thing. When encountering Entei, Raikou, and Suicune, whether it be in raids, in the wild, or through defeating Blanche, Candelia, or Spark, you had the option of taking their pictures, and if you did take their pictures, you also could catch them that way, instead of just in raids alone, and that's all I have to say about what happened during Johto Tour. I will tell you what my final shiny count from this event was at the end of this video.
Johto Tour is officially in the books. And after a long, exhausting day of making this video and live streaming on Twitch, I was able to finally catch 21 shinies. Yes, 21 shiny Pokemon. Including two shiny Raikou. One, which was the first one I got during the first Raikou raid I did in the game. And then another one in the wild. I look forward to, to doing more of these ticketed events in Pokemon Go. This was one of the best events Niantic has given us ever. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, during these times, when hang out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, depending on which part of the world or country you are in, whether in regards to masks, double masking, KN95 or N95 mask. Carry hand sanitizer with you or use hand sanitizer provided to you in public. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted. And of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.